Hello everyone, this is Billy Ray. Uh, welcome to this uh, three-part series where I'm going to cover the SX10, SX12 workflow into Trimble Business Center. We're going to start out with part one where I'm going to work you through the importing your data from your data collector into TBC and then we'll jump into some of the projects set up in TBC. So like I said, we're going to step right into this, setting up our project and then exporting out of Trimble Access into Trimble Business Center. Okay, I'm going to start this off by just going into our Trimble Access project here. I've got several station setups and a couple of uh, scan stations. Uh, this is a small project that I collected. Um, you can see that I've got a couple of scan stations here and then my station setups, but we're on the data collector. Now I just want to show the workflow on how to copy this out to get our job into Trimble Business Center. So one of the first things we want to do is instead of um, this is a big misconception or kind of a, a blunder that we sometimes make is exporting this scan project out to TVC instead of exporting we want to copy our project so right here I got my T our Trimble Access up and I'm going to export or copy so what I want to do is copy and from this point I can select my job that I want to copy and then I want to tell it that I want to export out to a thumb drive which I currently have in my data collector um, you can check these additional files. I always check the XML file to create the JXL file to go into TVC. It also brings out the job file. Or you can also include these other ones such as copy coordinate system, media files, or any link files or feature code libraries that you may have attached. So we'll just go ahead and say copy. Let that run. Okay, so I've pulled the files off my thumb drive and placed them into my project folder here. You can see my data structure. You want to keep all this stuff together. It's really important that you don't start renaming anything and moving things around. As it came off the thumb drive, you want to keep everything in the same location. You'll see here that I've got all my media files, camera, scan information in this one folder and all that relates back to the JXL that we're going to take into Trimble Business Center. So all this is important to keep in the same project location. Now I'm ready to start up a TBC project, bring my data in. I'm just going to start a new default project. Use US Survey Feet. Uh, I did have a coordinate system that I was running on when I set up this project out in the field. Um, there's a couple ways you can bring your data in. You can drag and drop or we can actually go and use the import function from within TBC. So I can drag and drop this JXL straight into TBC or I can come over here and use the import function within TBC and it gives you a little bit more functionality when you bring that in. You can, um, if you need to adjust your settings um, you can do so here. For today's purpose, I'm going to use the drag and drop function. I'm going to grab my JXL file. I'm just going to pull that over in the TBC window there. It's going to start bringing my data in. And since this was such a small project, um, the first thing it's going to do is going to ask you if you want to colorize your point cloud. I always opt to colorize this at a later time. You can do this at any time within TBC. Um, since it's so small, it's just going to go ahead and colorize real fast. Normally, I would stop it right there and then go ahead and let it come in. But like I said, it's a small project, so it didn't take long to colorize. And I'll talk more about that later. So I'm going to zoom in here and take a look at all the data that came in. I can kind of start looking at my data in different ways through my Project Explorer and my View Filter Manager. So the Project Explorer and the View Filter Manager are good ways to navigate, navigate around your project data. Uh, you can get in there and you can turn things on and off with the View Filter Manager. 
and with the Project Explorer you can look at your data, your scans, your points, and all the data that was brought in. So right now I just want to turn off all this raw data, get rid of these vector lines that are coming in. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and then I'm going to get in here and take a look at the project. So I'm still in the View Filter Manager and I can come down here to the scan section. You can see all of our scans. You can quickly turn those off and on in the View Filter Manager. And then I'm going to go over to the Project Explorer. And in the Project Explorer here you can see all my station observations, my scan stations, and then we have the default point cloud. It's showing up unclassified at this point and as one default point cloud. Now that I have my data in, I just want to do some quality control and I'll go up here to my project settings. I want to make sure that my coordinate system looks correct. I'm in Oklahoma North. Come in here and check um, my units, coordinate system, make sure everything looks good according to the project set up in the field. I also like to come in here and toggle on my background map, make sure that overlays properly onto the correct location. So that came in good and everything looks good. You can see that I'm sitting right on top of my project location according to the digital globe map there. Now that we've done a little bit of quality control, I think now is a good time to go ahead and save our project out. I'm going to go ahead and hit save here. Navigate to my project location. And then just save our TBC project file. And after we get done saving here, I'm going to go back over to my Project Explorer and I can do another check on my project location. Right click on the project name and go to properties. And then I can toggle my map view from the Trimble map view to the digital globe map view and then we'll be able to see our aerial imagery here. And also turn it off and on from this location. If you don't have a Trimble ID, it's going to prompt you, you know, when you turn these background maps on. So you, you, as soon as it prompts you, you can go in and log in and set up your Trimble ID. Now I can look back over here in the plan view and I can see the project lines up accordingly with um, the digital globe map. And I can also turn that map background on and off down here in the bottom right and close out that properties menu there. So in wrapping up this first series of exporting SX10 data, SX12 data from the Trimble Access Program and into TBC, importing into TBC, I just want to take a look at my 3D view here real quick. We can zoom in and out with our middle mouse wheel button. Also allows us to pan around here inside of the point cloud data set. Looks like everything came in great. Everything's colorized at this point. The next session we'll you know, run a colorization on the point cloud again. I'm going to go ahead and um, I could jump into a station view, but I'm going to go ahead and go out to the full view here and I want to show you the full extents of those other scan stations in relationship to where they are in our project. We put them way out here, um, away from our project, but we're going to register these at a later time. Um, those are going to go into the overall scan project. I'll just zoom in here and show you where those are going to tie in. We're going to use a pairwise registration to tie that one scan. Got one scan station in the back there, and then I'm going to bring another one here in the front. While we're in the 3D view here, let's just go ahead and take a look at our 3D view settings where we can make the adjustments um, to our view. Um, we can use our preset views or we can adjust the rotation or change the vertical exaggeration. We can change the display mode from orthographic to perspective. Uh, orthographic displays everything at the same scales and perspective adds some depth to your view. That concludes part one of this series. Uh, join me next time where we'll look at more of the SX10, SX12 data workflow, 
I'll cover some data review and editing. We'll look at the scan registration and refinement. And we'll also jump into colorization of the point cloud and point cloud classification.